Ever wonder how the QWERTY keyboard came to be? Take it back. Way back. The first patent typewriter dates back to 1714, a valiant attempt to make legal documents a little more formal. It sparked a few more attempts at different styles of typing mechanisms, but it didn't quite take off. So what was holding back the invention from success? Well, the regular alphabet had too many frequently used letters side by side, and when typists typed too fast, typewriter arms would collide or jam. Meaning, it was back to page one. Square one? Whatever. Enter QWERTY. The investors of the Scholes typewriter paired with Remington's and Sons to make a stylish typewriter with a whole new format. A rearranged alphabet that reduced jams and slowed down the pace. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. U-I-O-P-A-S-D-F-G-H and so forth. People started developing the skill of typing, making it nearly impossible to get rid of this layout. Not that people haven't tried. Take August Dvorak, who in the 1930s came up with an alternative format with the most popular letters in the middle row. And it may have been a better theory, but millions of people had already learned how to type QWERTY, and so had their children. And now, here in 2025, we can't quite quit QWERTY. So fire off, now you know. What do you think? Do 